Hello everyone, my name is Namab al -Hamish. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create lunar or moon phases. So let's get started. Let's create a new composition. Nothing fancy here. We're going to add a solid layer. Let's start by creating the sky itself. Okay, it's pretty much straightforward. Add fractal noise. Uh, increase the contrast. The brightness should be down like that. Uh, add complexity. Scale down. The fractal like that. Zoom. So you see what's going on here. Add, you know, just fiddle around with the settings to get something like that. I think we're good. So we're going to add a tint to make it bluish. More convincing sky, pretty much. There we go. Something like that. Now it's more or less like a sky. Now the next part is adding a mood. So we can start with the most important part, which is the effect itself, the CC sphere. That's what we are looking for. This is going to create the effect we're looking for. So let's start by messing around the settings, like the light intensity should be up. Uh, all these settings should be somehow like that. Let's see here. Let's play around with the curves so we get sharp edge. It's a good start. Now, the phase of adding a moon itself. There we go. There is the moon. I'm going to make it underneath. Scale it down to align with the sphere we created just earlier. So you can see here we can decrease the transparency, see what's going on. I think we're good. We're good here. There we go. Something like that. We should mask the moon layer by changing the track mask to Luma mat. Yeah, there we go. Now see that there is a transparent part to hold overcome that problem. We're going to duplicate the moon and make it underneath that layer. And then we have to darken the touch. There we go. Let's remove the Luma mat. We don't need it. And then we have to copy the tent, so to blend with the sky, this dark area blend with the sky. There we go. Now comes the fun part, is animating this effect. So let's set the light direction to uh, 90. Let's animate the light height to minus 100. Move through frames like that, and then animate to 100. So you get this. In the middle, it's very important to flip the light direction. So it's 90, you have to flip it to minus 90. So 90, just like that, and then minus 90. And then you move two frames away, and then animate light height. There we go. Now we got the continuous motion. Let's render this. There we go. And we are pretty much done. Okay, now uh, if you want to download this smooth image, it's in the link down below. So, in the description. So, uh, there it is. Thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, I will see you around.